Welcome to the Grand Canyon, more specifically the western end of the Grand Canyon, uh, down near a rapid, a notorious rapid known as Lava Falls. Uh, thanks for joining me this evening. Geology Professor Sean Wilsey here, wrapping up a six day uh, river trip through the Grand Canyon with some friends. It's our last night here along the river. We got some thunderstorms and a little light rain moving through some wind. But I thought we'd show you a little bit of the geology down here in the Western Grand Canyon. Um, starting with maybe what I think is the most impressive thing here. And that are these black volcanic rocks, this basalt. You can see the contact right here between the uh, sedimentary rocks that make up this part of the Grand Canyon and these black rocks, these lavas. And these lavas are what are responsible for the big rapid just beyond the bend here, Lava Falls, and this one down here which is known as Lower Lava Falls or Sun of Lava. Um, so what's interesting about these lavas, just beyond the rim above there is a cinder cone volcano that erupted within the last few thousand years. And this was a time when the Grand Canyon existed. So those lava flows poured down over the canyon walls, just as we see here, uh, inundating the floor of the canyon, damming up the Colorado River and backing up the water behind the dam. Now, eventually the river broke free um, but this has happened repeatedly in the Western Grand Canyon. These lava dams pouring lava into the base of the Colorado River and forming dams. We can see on the other side of the canyon walls some of the black lava uh, that accumulated and is still preserved on this side of the canyon, on the south side of the canyon. These lavas are here because uh, as we enter the western part of the snake of the Grand Canyon uh, the western part of the Grand Canyon is more or less the edge or near the edge of the Colorado Plateau and entering another geologic province known as the Basin and Range and so the normal faults the extensional faults that are slowly stretching uh, that section of the Earth's crust have broken and are the conduits for magma to erupt. So we see a whole series of these volcanoes and volcanic fields right along the edge of the Colorado Plateau heading into the basin and range. You can see in front of me here some of the, the crude columns that have formed in the basalt as this is poured down into the canyon. Of course, these columns will tend to form perpendicular to the surfaces that they're uh, cooling upon. So the, the idea here, we have some sort of cooling surface uh, down here near ground level and then another one up there but kind of a complicated scene here because these lavas are pouring down over the canyon rim cooling as they move down but ultimately making their way down to the Colorado River and in the course of doing so um, these lava dams are also places where there can be large rapids as well so let's head down to the river and another interesting thing we see here is just how big the fluctuations in the Colorado River can be over time. Now today, of course, the river is largely controlled by Glen Canyon Dam, which is located a few hundred miles upstream. And so the flows don't get as big. But in um, prehistoric times, hundreds if not thousands of years ago, the water reached very um, high levels of flow and we can see that with all these rounded basalt boulders here. I'm a good, oh boy, um, I would guess I'm maybe 30 feet, maybe 10 meters or so above the current level of the river. But we can see with these rounded basalt boulders here that the river in times past, <coughs> excuse me, has reached at least this high. Um, let's see what else we can find down in this little section here. Try to boulder hop, head down to the river, maybe get on some sand here. So, yeah, what's been impressive this river trip is just seeing um, how high the river's influence on the canyon bottom and the rocks has been. We've seen uh, hard gneisses and granites 
in places that are just beautifully sculpted and sandblasted by the water. There actually are some rocks down here um, that probably record the lava dam and the lava interacting with the water. We can see that here we see a lot more fragmentation, broken up particles in the basalt. We can also see there's chunks of other rocks in here, maybe uh, some limestone or sandstone, maybe some chert from other units in here. So this brecciated basalt is likely part of the lava interacting with the water and fragmenting as it's becoming quenched. And you can see the, the big boulder here, uh, another, another one down here, showing some of the fragments, a lighter colored rock in and amongst the basaltic breccia. Let's just head down along this trail and get down by the river's edge. We just ran Lava Falls Rapid in a, a, a large raft with a motor on the back known as a J-Rig, and it was plenty terrifying. Um, as a private boater with a raft, I can kind of only imagine what that would look like going down on my own. Um, although there's some a few different lines or routes you can take through there. Here's another big boulder uh, with this brecciated basalt. There's actually two. There's one here, um, but this one here also has a large clast or particle of yeah, some sort of limestone or sedimentary unit uh, that's been encapsulated in it. Oh, just saw a big flash of lightning, so you probably hear some thunder here in a second. Although the wind's plenty loud enough as well. There's the thunder. So we're looking upstream at Lava Falls, which probably doesn't look that impressive on this video. Um, maybe at the end of this, I can uh, paste in some of the video footage we took from our boat as we ran that. But that's Lava Falls Rapid, one of the most formidable and, and feared and respected rapids on the, the Grand, in the Grand Canyon on the Colorado River. Uh, and this is a smaller rapid just below that we're camped by. So just wanted to give you a little view of the geology and scenery here. You actually see another lava flow downstream, uh, kind of draping over the canyon walls. Um, down, not sure if that's down towards Whitmore Wash or not, but there's actually several of these lava flows that have inundated Grand Canyon, and part of it's more uh, young and most recent geologic history. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to camp, but thanks for joining me on this little excursion down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, Lava Falls Rapid, uh, the big basaltic lava flows that have coated and draped the canyon walls and created some of the big rapids we see here.